What we're doing here is we're creating a compelling reason for you to want to buy a security system, if you want to call it a security office. So it's a way for you not, to, not only to be safe, but to stay connected to all the things you care about, as, and also really have a phenomenal user experience. So I'm just showing you the web interface here, but the same functionality is available on my BlackBerry or iPhone or whatever phone you have. It's available through touch screens throughout the home that will replace your ugly security keypad. It's available through widgets on your desktop if you guys use uh, Yahoo widgets. It's the same thing. You, know, you can get weather and stock and news on your desktop without having to open up a web browser. That's the whole concept of widgets. Now you can get this information. Now you can, you know, know what you can configure it to show whatever you want. You can show a picture of your front door, a picture of your kids' room or your vacation home if you happen to have one. I don't. Um, not yet. Um, so it's, it's really you, you kind of yeah I'm working on it. Uh, it's really you, you customize it. So it's really kind of creating a pipe to uh, to connect you to those things. So that's that's sort of the business model. The way we make money is we're not a consumer company. We're not a TU. I keep using TU as an example. We're not spending fifty million dollars to educate the masses of what this is. That's not our play. Uh, never has been since day one. What we're doing is we're offering this platform to the three constituents I've talked about, the cable operators, telcos, which are you know, all the broadband providers basically, and security companies, people like ADT or Monotronics or Roxcom or Bay Alarm or Brinks. Those are not announcements I'm making, by the way. I'm just using examples. Some of them are. Um, so that's the play. So it's, it's very similar to what the VoIP guys did. You know, A couple of years ago, there's a whole bunch of companies that delivered voice over IP systems and software and platform to the cable operators and telcos for them to offer VoIP to their customers. Because they have the customers, they bill them every month, they market to them, they have their email address. We don't want to be in that business. Right? We want to help those guys deliver this kind of security, home security 2.0, broadband security if you want to call it, to their customers. The broadband guys love this because uh, they are, you know, obviously they're very good at bundling services. They've done it four times already. This is a very natural thing for them to bundle. Right? It's, uh, they already have the content and the pipe, and this is a way for them to yet leverage their broadband uh, investment and deliver yet another service that's pretty compelling. I'll pay you know, 30 bucks a month for this. I, would, I don't have a security system, by the way, I have this. Um, and the security guys love it because the security guys realize they've been sitting on something for 40 years and they haven't innovated. So they, and they see the cable and, broad, and the telco guys coming after them, and they're scared. Uh, so we're sort of the arms dealer. We'll provide this platform to all those guys and we say, hey, go good luck and have fun with this stuff. So, so that's, uh, does, that, does that make sense? Any questions on the product? Okay. Uh, if you want, I can, offline, I can certainly show you a more detailed demo. There's a lot more to it than this. Yes? Quick question. So, either can have an existing security system or you don't need one. Yes. So you can go either way. Right. The question was, do you need to have a security system? No, you don't. Uh, you can, uh, if you have one, certainly we can plug into it. If you don't have one, uh, you, it can just work by itself without, you know, telling you that the security system is armed or it went off. You can just simply put cameras and other things like that and just get self-monitoring if you want without a central station being called. Or you can get both at the same time. So certainly if this is being deployed by a broadband company, a security company, they will actually put in a security system for you and then plug this in right along next to it. And, uh, and there's multiple ways of bundling it. There are other ones that want to offer this as an additional five, ten bucks a month with this additional functionality. And then there's a flip side, which is they will give you this for free and give you the central station monitoring, you know, the cops being called and all that as an optional thing. Because a lot of people don't see the value in that, but they see the value in this. Okay. Somebody else raise their hand. Yes. I actually have two questions. The very interesting product. Uh, the first question is, I'm a little confused about the message of the product. Is it a security system, or is it a complement the existing security system? Uh, that's a great uh, question. Uh, so you know, that the, the messaging ultimately depends on our partners. As I told you, we're not marketing this at all. We have we spend zero dollars on marketing. The only people that know about us are people that read you know, a lot of wars or, or some article that was written about us. So the, the ultimate marketing and the messaging of it, it depends on our customers and what they want to do. So if it's a security company that's marketing this, I bet you it's going to be a security message. If it's a cable company that's marketing this thing, it's going to be more about internet and content. They may put in a security feature into it, a security messaging into it. Uh, ultimately, it's both. 
Okay, so uh, it's really, we call it home security 2.0. It's really taking home security and injecting steroids into it and taking it to hold a couple of levels up, really. Uh, so it, it's both. It really depends on how you look at it and what you want. But the customers that you're talking about are end users. Your customers are cable company. Correct. Those are your customers. That's right. How do you deliver them this message? We, we, we deliver both. And, uh, and the, so the, the two choices are security system versus self-monitoring. <coughs> Most, I would say 95% of the time, people, have, people latch onto the security angle. And I'll tell you why. Uh, security is a known quantity. It's been around for decades. Everybody understands security. All of you guys, even though not, almost none of you have security systems, you know what it's about. You know, what it, you know who AT is. You know who Brinks is. You've seen a decal on the lawn. People understand it. You don't have to educate the market of what security is, right? So it's a great Trojan horse. It's a great thing for you to ride with on its coattails and, and deliver something else on top of it. So the, so the entree into the homes is security, but that's, which is great because everybody understands that there's an existing market. But you can go, once you have that into the home, that pipe and that service into the home, then you can offer a whole bunch of other things that the security systems don't offer. Cameras and videos and thermostats and a whole bunch of other things and all the features that, that are shown here. But then to control those devices, you need to have another one because the base with the existing one, they don't have uh, an interface. You Correct. Right. You do need another module. So, so what I haven't showed you, obviously, because it's not, I didn't put a presentation together, but I'll be happy to talk to you about it offline. The system, what the system is comprised of is three components. One is a whole bunch of devices. So certainly security systems, if you have one, is that. There's a whole bunch of off-the-shelf cameras and sensors. We don't make any of that stuff. That's already on the market. You can, some of it you can go buy on Amazon. You can buy it from really anybody, G or Honeywell or whoever you want. So that's one component. The second component is this gateway, which I think is what you're alluding to. It's a box, kind of much like a TiVo box, which connects all these wireless devices, and they're all wireless, by the way, to the back end servers. Okay? And you need, to, you need that box. It's a pretty low cost box. Right now, it's a standalone box. It's a gateway that plugs into a router. It's an IP device. Ultimately, you can bear it into a router or a set top box or a security panel unit. And that's we're going in that direction. And then the third piece of the whole the, the product is the service and the back end portal, which clearly is our core business. We are a software and services company. We're not a hardware company at all. Uh, so we have partners that deliver those hardware components. So that, that gateway is what you're alluding to. You do need that. Absolutely, but it's you know it's orders of magnitude, one order of magnitude, probably cheaper than what a security system would cost. You. It's less than a you know hundred bucks for that game. Last question. The Last GE, question. I'm told. Okay, so the GE's Honeywell and more holes that are in this space. Yep. They, they actually have software on the back end. What keeps with the volumes you're talking from the cable operators and those guys? Yep. Why don't you get like how do you not get squeezed out if they don't want? To That's a great question. So how do we? Uh, that means I have the answer, by the way. When I say it's a great question, it means I have the answer. Uh, so, uh, no, it is a good question because that's a, that's a great uh, investor question. Investors ask you that a lot because you don't want to do something, make a market, and have Honeywell and GE and ADT and all those guys come, come and get you. First of all, uh, we have a partnership with GE Security. They're one of our key partners, fantastic partner. Uh, they're, they're one of the large security manufacturers, not dealers, but manufacturers alongside Honeywell. Um, so GE, they've all done this. They've all tried to do this in the past, not to the level that we've done it, but they've tried to broadband enable the security systems in the past. They have failed miserably. Why? Because they are a hardware company. They're good at building little door sensors and motion sensors and panels, which is very different than delivering a web-enabled service, cell phone, you know, all that stuff that we're talking about. It's not their forte. They don't know how to do it. Uh, GE has realized that they can't do it, so that's why they love working with us, and that's why they're such a great partner, because they deliver the hardware and the channel, and we deliver the software and the user experience. Honeywell hasn't quite gotten it yet. Honeywell thinks they can do it, and what they're doing to deliver on this division is they're taking their commercial security systems, which has CCTV camera, analog cameras, and real expensive, and applying that to residential applications. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work, I can tell you that. There's a whole bunch of reasons why it won't. So they'll realize sooner or later that that's not going to work either. You need, you need a company, you know, there's no one company that can do it all. You can't do hardware, software, gateway, you can't do it all. So our place in the food chain, iControl's place in the food chain, is delivering the software and the user experience. That's really tough to do, to really make this compelling. Everything else comes from other players. And uh, the VCs get it as well because they, uh, that's one of the earliest questions they ask is why should, you know, why should we fund this? And we introduced them to GE. <laughs> and we took them to trade shows. 
and they saw for themselves that this is just an industry that's in pain. It's really, really in pain. Last week was the International.